it's Connie here. I hope everyone is doing amazing. Um, so today I wanted to give you guys an update on my cycle. Um, in my last video, I I mentioned that I had I may have had some implantation cramping and whatnot, and and it sounded promising, but um, unfortunately, I don't think I conceived. And I say I don't think I conceived because AF is not here yet and she was supposed to come today. So who knows, maybe she'll come a little bit later today or maybe even tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I just, um, I really just wanted to apologize for get, getting everyone excited and maybe a little overly hopeful for me. Um, to be honest, I was really hopeful and I think like when you want something so bad, you just start to think that everything could be pregnancy symptoms. And um, yeah, so I fell into that trap once again. Um, I know a lot of you were so hopeful that this was it, and so was I. But unfortunately, um, I, I did see my temperature drop a lot as well. Um, today, this morning when I took my temp, I it just dropped, it plummeted like way below the cover line um, and it was above the cover line for like the last I don't know 10 11 days or something um, yeah so the other thing that happened this cycle was um, that I got two positive OPKs in a row on cycle day 16 and cycle day 17 um, that has never happened to me before and I mean you would think that you could, you'll could, you see a positive OPK like on one day and then you'll expect to ovulate you know, within the next 12 to 36 hours or whatever. And so when you get it on two days, it's really hard to tell when you're supposed to ovulate. So anyways, the fact that AF is not here yet, it's really annoying because if she comes tomorrow or even Thursday, then that means that I ovulated way later than P Tracker or Fertility Friend said I would. And basically, it's just, I, I don't know when I ovulated because, I mean, hopefully AF will come today. But I'm just saying, if she comes tomorrow or Thursday, tomorrow being Wednesday or, or you know, Thursday being the following day, um, then that means we didn't time our baby dancing right either. So, um, I don't know. I, I just feel like this cycle is a bust. It's just a total bust. Um, the way I'm spotting right now, it doesn't seem like Aunt Flo is going to come. I feel like she'll either come on Wednesday or on Thursday. So, it just it just throws everything off. Um, all our baby dancing, um, just everything so I, I'm really I'm really just sort of frustrated because I feel like getting two positive OPKs and my cycle has such a big range from 28 to 32 days I honestly just don't I can't pinpoint my ovulation it's really difficult and the temping I don't know how accurate it is because I tend to get up a couple times in the middle of the night to pee and whatnot and I, I just don't know if I can really trust my, the temping right now at this point. So, I mean, I, I was disappointed. I was going to do a live pregnancy test for you guys um, yesterday and upload a video of that, you know, thinking that it was going to be positive. And, of course, it was a big fat negative instead. Um, and the interesting thing was that when I saw the B BFN, I wasn't sad like I normally would feel kind of really bummed out and I would just be thinking about it all the time and and sometimes I would cry but this time I was really strangely numb I, I was just numb I don't know guys is that a normal thing like if you've been TTC for a while, I mean, I know it hasn't been that long for me. This is like our 10th cycle, but that was just an odd reaction from me. Like I didn't know that I was going to be that way and it kind of scared me. Like it was almost to the point where 
I'm so used to it now. Like I'm so used to seeing BFNs that I just become numb, you know? Anyway, um, just because I, because of the OPK, um, the two days in a row of the positive OPKs, like that whole thing. And then my AF not showing up today, um, and not, you know, I, it just, I feel like I don't know when I'm ovulating. So a few weeks ago, um, I did purchase the Clear Blue Easy Fertility Monitor. And um, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to use it and that I could just sell it in its package because I was hoping that I would conceive in January. But it doesn't look like I did based on my temperature dip this morning. Um, so, yeah. Um, Oh, and please excuse my voice right now. It's kind of nasally. I, I've been battling like a sinus cold. I have so much pressure right here. It, it hurts. Um, but that's why my voice sounds kind of funny. But um, so I got this a few weeks ago. And um, it was kind of expensive. Um, I'm sure if you guys are TTCers, then you have heard of the fertility monitor. It's like $118. And that was at a discounted price. Um, I got it off of Amazon and it, do it doesn't come with the test sticks. There's like specific test sticks that you're supposed to use for the monitor. And so I had to order this separately, which is the fertility monitor test sticks. And there's 30 of these in a package. And these were almost like $40. I don't know, somewhere between $35 and $40. So yeah really expensive um but you know john and i we still want to try to conceive naturally and i know if we were to go to a fertility specialist now we'd have to pay like almost 300 dollars for a consultation fee and then it's going to be more money if we were to get prescribed clomid or something like that um so if we if i put it in perspective you know these were not that expensive like considering like we're still trying to do it on our own. Um, so yeah, that's what I did and um, I'm gonna start using it um, this upcoming cycle um, whenever AF shows up. So uh, yeah, if you guys um, have ever used the fertility monitor, um, can you just briefly tell me what your experience was using it in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. Um, I know that this is not a guarantee of anything, um, but I feel like it'll just help me take the guesswork out of knowing when to BD and all of that. Like I'm just kind of over the, the OPK sticks right now. Um, and for me, temping is not very accurate. So um, yeah, please let me know if you have any experience with the fertility monitor. Thanks for everyone who is cheering me on and everything. Um, sorry to disappoint you all. Um, but yeah, I'll be sure not to get everyone excited like that again. Um, because I do that all the time and I, I just get disappointed. So, um, I'm wishing everyone else out there tons of baby dust and... 2014 is going to be our year and yeah, so good luck and um, I look forward to watching your videos and I'll catch you later. Oh, and by the way, stay tuned for the next video because I am going to be doing uh, the Q&A video. So uh, yeah, I'll see you next week guys. Have a great one. Bye!